But today I am reviewing a Mocha adapter. Uh, what this does, it allows you to send your internet through the coax line. So if you wanted to have a hard wire line throughout your home, you can do an ethernet from your router and then send it through the coax into another room in the house and then back through ethernet for your computer or Xbox, whatever it is you wanna to connect to. Uh, this does come with the one adapter, the ethernet cable and a power adapter. And you do need to have at least two of these adapters in order for it to work. And I did purchase a second one as well. So I'm gonna have two of them. And this is to send the ethernet to one of the rooms in the house that doesn't have the connection. Uh, the Wi-Fi is a little spotty. I also want to just have a direct line for work and everything. And it's all the same thing in this as well. Also, these adapters, they have two outputs. So one for your TV and one for the coax line for the internet. So you can run both of them. They do run on different frequencies. And if you use splitters, you just have to make sure that you use the right splitters for it. I'm not going to go into too much of technical details. I'm just going to kind of show you how they work and show it working. Ignore my mess of a setup. I am still working on it. But uh, anyway, I'll show you kind of what I have going on here. We got my router up here. And then I have uh, the router connected to my ONT for my fiber. And from the router, I have to the switch. And then from the switch, I have one ethernet going to my room, which is already wired. And one ethernet coming up over here to this Moax adapter. And then I have the coax going down to the box and running to the room that I needed in. Uh, pretty much I did that and then I did the reverse on the other end and it automatically saw each other, automatically start lighting up and blinking and I got the connection. I'll go to the other end now. And here I have the coax in the bedroom and then from the coax here I have it going up to the other Mocha adapter up on the desk. Uh, ignore kind of my wire mess going on here, this is just temporary. And then up here I have the Mocha adapter. You can see all three of the lights are flashing, blinking. And then I have the Ethernet running right over to the computer. And then of course the power adapter. I, that's all I had to do is just connect everything. It automatically connected everything for me. And there it's running to my computer. And then we'll do a couple of speed tests. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll do our first test. We're going to do it with good old Ookla. That is one of the most common. I have one gig fiber and ethernet directly off the router. I'm getting uh, roughly eight to 850 down and then uh, 940 up or so is about what I get. So it looks like we're getting pretty close to the same with the coax, which is pretty good. I'm not gonna complain with that at all. And the upload is looking pretty good too. I know that these adapters will, uh, they, they handle up to two and a half gig. I'm not sure if it could ever get those speeds. I can't go that fast. I don't know anybody that has speed that fast. We'll also do a speed test with the fast.com because I know I've had people ask me before to do that one. So I'll go ahead and do that. That one's powered by Netflix. It, it pretty much kind of gives you what Netflix will see. We got 720 down and then we'll check the up. It looks like we're getting pretty close to our gig on the up right there. So yeah, I mean, these Mocha adapters definitely are doing what I need them to do. I am not going, I don't know 100% of the technical terms and everything for it, but I just know that I plugged them in, they worked, and it didn't take any kind of programming or anything. It was super easy.